So from here, we've got the email that came in from Sandra asking about um, sp specific products on the website. She had a query. So what we did there is we created Sandra's record, added it into D365. We added the email as a tracked activity, and then we used the convert to option and converted it to an opportunity. So on the email, we can see this is regarding that query, that opportunity, and the related record it's tracked to is Sandra Jones as the contact and Megan Walker as the user. So now let's go ahead and let's reply to this email. Let's follow back up with Sandra. So what you'll notice is because we're tracking that email, what that means is we're essentially tracking it all the way through the sort of life cycle of the, if, of the email, if you will. So again, it's set regarding the query because that's what we'd already set it to previously. So I'm going to just send a quick email to Sandra. Uh, thanks for your query. So we are sending her an email and we're basically going to ask if we can have a meeting um, and uh, sending that to them. So again, once we send that through, we've tracked the original email. So then when we send an email response, we're also tracking that response as well. So if I then look in my sent folder, we can see there's the email that was sent through. That's what we're basically tracking it to. OK. Now, this is where if Sandra then responds back and then we want to stop tracking it, that's where we would click the untrack button that basically stops tracking it from that moment forward. So we might have the previous history that's tracked and then it could end up to where if you're building up that relationship with Sandra, maybe then the emails get to the point of how are your kids doing? What are you doing at the weekend? That kind of thing. That might be where you say, right, from this point forward, the email thread it's time to untrack it. So that's the purpose of untracking an email at that point. But that's how you can basically keep that thread going. And then again, if Sandra responds, that email will be tracked back in and so on. And you're basically tracking the thread all the way through the process.